In this chapter, we'll take a look at the basic functions of the UART port and its FIFO. In the lab, we'll initialize the port and use both polling and interrupts to echo data to the USB host across the emulator's virtual COM port. The TM4C123G H6PM includes eight UART ports. Each of these ports features separate 16x8 transmit and receive FIFOs, a programmable baud rate generator, automatic generation and removal of the start, stop, and parity bits, line break generation and detection, a choice of five to eight data bits, multiple parity types, and one or two stop bits, modem and flow control, IRDA and EIA 495 9-bit protocols, and finally DMA support with separate transmit and receive channels. Note the two external pins on the right. Tiva C-Series pins are highly multiplexed with other functions. Also note the transmit and receive FIFOs are integral to the module itself. The four basic steps for initializing the UART are as follows. One, enable the UART peripheral. Two, configure the transmit and receive pins for the UART function. Three, configure the baud rate and data setup of the UART. Four, configure any other UART features like interrupt generation and FIFO usage. Now the port is ready to send and receive characters. In this UART design, a single data register is used for both the transmit and receive functions. The peripheral driver library supports both blocking and non-blocking APIs for reading and writing to the data register. Each UART module can provide an interrupt to the CPU. Since this is a single source interrupt, it will be cleared automatically. Conditions under which an interrupt can be generated are an overrun error, a break error, an incorrect parity, a framing error, a received timeout when the FIFO is not empty and no data is received during 32-bit times, when a transmit is attempted and no data is present to be transmitted, and when a character is received. Interrupts on all these conditions can be enabled individually. Since these conditions are ORed into a single interrupt to the CPU, the handler code must check to determine which of these conditions triggered the interrupt and then clear the appropriate flag. Both the transmit and receive FIFOs are accessed through the UART data register. While the data sheet indicates that the UART's FIFOs are disabled at reset, basic configuration of the UART module re-enables this feature by default. They can easily be disabled if necessary. Trigger points for the generation of, U of UART interrupts can be set at the 1 8th, 1 quarter, 1 half, 3 quarters, 7 eighths, and full points for the FIFOs. TivaWare's UART library includes standard I.O. console functions for initialization, printf, get, and flushing the FIFOs, and others. To use the functions, you should use the interrupt handler provided in uartstdio.c. UART1 supports modem flow control with request to send and clear to send handshake signals, infrared, ISA 7816 smart card, local interconnect network, and EIA 495 support is part of all UART modules. UART modules have separate DMA transmit and receive channels for efficient transfers of data. In Lab 12, we'll experiment with the UART module. On the launch pad, one of the UARTs is connected to the emulation hardware, which then connects through the USB port to your PC. On the PC, the UART connection will appear as a virtual COM port. The lab will initialize the UART and use polling and interrupts to echo characters.